Hi everyone! In this video I'll show you how to build a report and then export it. So, in order to build a report we need to go to Reports, Submodule, and click on Reports, Subpane, then uh, click on Create. <clears throat> so, the first step uh, in building reports is choosing the uh, module, the data from which will be used to build it, to create a report. So, in our case, uh, I believe uh, it should be leads module. For example, we would like to know um, all the leads for a particular salesman uh, for for the whole period, let's say. So, and the first stage in creating a report is creating or defining filters. So, in our case, we'll, um, there is level 1 filter and level 2 filter. So, in level 1 filter, which is lead, um, <clears throat> As a, as a module and then date created in level 2 filter. So uh, we need to um, select uh, before uh, before today <coughs> uh, in uh, from the drop down list. Then we click on next button and here uh, is the the, sec the next stage. Uh, we are dis defining the display fields. Here we'll, uh, we would like to know um, the lead's name, first name, last name. Then we would like to know who this lead has been assigned to. So we will choose the username uh, of the salesperson. By the way, uh, display fields are those uh, fields, uh, they are mm, the same as uh, column names that will appear in um, uh, in the file that will be will be exported in Excel as in Excel file. So um, should we need to change something? Then we need to change um, um, the column names here, right here, by uh, defining the display field. So right now we'll click next button and define the group by. Group by uh, defining group by is defining the criterion um, uh, according to which uh, all the data will be grouped by. Uh, so in our case, this will be um, a username, a username of the salesperson uh, who is responsible for, for all these leads. So assign to username, then we click the next button, and finally we're defining summaries. And um, proceeding to chart type, we select in pie funnel, columns, columns, and uh, we'll <clears throat> Fill in the report name in report details subpane. Uh, this will be leads for the whole period. Yes, then click on save button. Wait for a couple of moments and we'll see the beautiful report. And we'll see that Chris has um, 34 leads. Then Max is the most successful salesperson. He has 57. Sally and Sarah have both 38 leads and Will has only 32. Below this chart there is a table, a table constructed by us and here are three columns in this table, first name, last name and username. The username of the salesperson who those leads belong to. Um, so um, in order to export um, this table, we just need to go to Edit button and click on the arrow and just click on Export here. We'll see that the file has been downloaded, we just need to open it and we'll see that uh, there is a file um, and all the data has been um, <clears throat> exported in XLS file in Excel and uh, the first name and last name of the leads are right here and the username of the salesperson is right here. Should we want to change anything we just need to click on edit button and go to define filters for example uh, pardon, uh, dis de define display fields and add uh, let it be a phone number just to call our leads it be office phone. So we click on save and then again um, repeat the operation, export it. And see um, another exported file. Yeah, here it goes. 
first name, last name on the lead, and the work phone is present in our new record, um, exported record, as well as the username of the salesperson right here. So that's it. I hope this video was useful. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.